morning guys, Coach here. Remember when I used to say if you go to a mom and pop nursery and they give you a lot of good advice that you should really, really try and patronize that nursery. To me, it's very, very important coming from a mom and pop nursery world. Uh, but here's the exception. Anytime you have a big box store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Walmart, if they have fresh stock, just receive fresh stock, it's the same as any other nursery. Provided that you get it while it's still fresh and they take care of it. Anyway, this week's plan of the week. This one we're talking about a dwarf lilac. One that only goes to about four to five feet max. This is Palabin. This is the Palabin, very similar to the Miss Kim, the Korean lilac, but it is just now budding up here in central Idaho and it is notorious for that fragrant lilac smell bursting, depending on where you live at, bursting come about the end of April or so into the beginning of May, depending on what zone you're in. Palabin is a very industrial strength type of plant. It is deciduous, so it goes to sleep in the wintertime, but oh boy, do you look forward to what it's going to do for you in the spring. That four to five foot range, smaller beds in the back, bigger beds in the middle and then have something smaller down below. It is a fantastic useful landscape plant that requires very little water once it's established, probably about once a week, good deep infrequent watering. Palabin. It'll take uh, fertilizer mostly late winter early spring before bloom opens up and then after bloom is done you can do it once and generally that's about it unless it's a container plant. Then probably about once every four to six weeks. Hey guys, Coach here, Lab and Lilac. Check it out. It's in the Syringa family. You will find it at a lot of your mom and pop nurseries, box stores, or in this case, Walmart. Catch you guys next week. Take care.